Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Friday the 22nd and today was a lovely beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, fairly decent time frame, got up and around, got the dog outside. She was all mad at me, I made her go outside and go to the potty because it was raining and I was really disappointed in the rain because I had full intentions of getting up and around quickly. I was going to run up to Daytona International Speedway up there at the racetrack. They have the, I guess we biannual turkey rod run. Um, Thanksgiving is the big one, which is hence the turkey name in it. And they do one in the spring also, usually around April, you know, sometime mid, like early April, whatever type thing. So late March, and it just kind of falls in wherever it falls in. So um, went ahead and they had it this weekend. It starts today, goes through Sunday. Um, I was like, yeah, I'll get there. The gates open at 8. I'll get there right at 8 o'clock. I know a lot of the vendors had already set up and whatever and whatnot, so not that big a deal. They were already there yesterday. And with it being raining, I'm like, God, it's just chilly. It's just windy enough. And if I get up there and I get soaking wet and cold and windy, it's going to be a miserable day. So I was like, well, I'll wait. I can technically go tomorrow, although I didn't really want to. I wanted to do it today and whatnot. So I hung around a little bit, looked the radar, and looked like it was kind of peeling out, uh, you know, after a couple hours. So decided to hell that I was going to head on up, um, played the dog a little more before I took off, and then went ahead and grabbed myself some extra shoes and socks and whatnot in case I got my feet wet, and grabbed my little kind of a windbreaker slash rain jacket, has a hood built into it, that headed up that way. And when I got there, it, the rain was just about stopped. It was right there in the process of stopping. So I went ahead and grabbed my stuff, went in and paid my 15 bucks to get in, headed around the place. And one of the people I wanted to talk to there was a vendor that, um, Koi wheels, they make, um, I'm not sure if they make or just distribute, I'm not, I can't really tell. It's a little bit of both, I think, because they have some stuff that I see other people that don't have their name on it. So they're selling that with their center caps on it. So I'm not really sure exactly who's what there and whatnot. So, but I talked to them before, I reached out on Facebook and asked them if they had um, any six lugs and they sent me some, they were gonna have the show. They sent some chrome ones. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then I was like, that's, that's nice. So I kind of agreed upon a price by picking up this show. And I was like, okay, I'll you know, see if I can get up there. So I get there. So I'm there now, two hours after the place opened. And the ones I wanted were already sold to somebody else. I'm like, well, shit. They had the same set, but with black inners, polished out, or machined outside lip. And I thought, well, I'll give it, I'll look those. I'll look those. And this didn't, didn't do it for me like the Chrome did. And normally I'm not a Chrome guy but these wheels they just looked really cheap and crappy like it sounds dumb to say but i don't know i just didn't like them they had too much with that black look too much like the old um, trans am wheels those honeycomb looking wheels and stuff i was just not a fan so he also had another set of there i liked quite a bit the old steel rally wheels like off the old chevelles and stuff back in the day but they're all built aluminum and stuff now but didn't have any in stock and so it'd be at least three to six months before it gets more in stock. I'm like, oh, that seems like a pain in the butt. So who knows? Went ahead, went around a few other shops. The vendors went to the car crowd, which I was also mainly there for. Pick up those wheels and tires. And two grand for a set of wheels and tires for my Suburban is a shit ton of money, but everything's a shit ton of money nowadays. No big deal. Didn't get those. So nip in the car crowd, looking for my wife a car and found three cars under 10 grand that would work, but they're all just, they're kind of shitty. Like they're under $10,000 cars. Like, and she wants convertible. That's her big thing. She wants convertible. So I'm like, okay, I just can't quite bring myself to do it. One of the cars there was really nice. More than the $25,000 range, which I liked everything about it. Cause it did not have the canvas top. It was a hard top only. And she's not going to take the top on and off. And then she tries to work. She can drive the top off and then get to work and it rains and the car's all wet. Like that's not gonna work. It rains in Florida almost every day. So that doesn't work. So unless we get her like a carport, you know, at work, which isn't going to happen, you know, just dumb. So didn't get that one either. Um, that, uh, I don't know, early 2000 BMW Z three or four. I'm not sure what one was. That was like seven grand and it was pretty rough. It had been repainted and it wasn't done real well. It was painted bad enough that back in the day when I used to paint a lot of things, if I had painted that car and it turned out that poorly, I would sand it down and do it again. But for a daily driver, it isn't in the world, but it was enough that it was gonna bug the shit on me. And the interior was in pretty bad shape. And I told the guy, I said, we'll be talking like, I'd be out like five grand max I'd wanna give you. And I don't think you wanna sell for that. And he told me to come talk to him on Sunday if I was interested. And the more I looked at it, the more I thought about it. 
I don't even want it for five grand because even if I put a $2,000 cheap paint job on it, which would be the cheapest I could ever think about getting that thing out of there. So now I'm back to the seven. I need probably a $2,000 interior in it, minimum, to get the interior back up to snuff that she would be happy with every day. So now I'm into this thing for nine, you know, and that's assuming there's nothing else wrong with it. And I know he said that air conditioning loses charge at times, so there's probably at least another thousand bucks in that fix. Now I'm at 10, and I don't know, I just not worth it. So did find an absolutely stunning um, GT clone um, old Mustang, that beautiful car, dark, dark blue, white lot stripes, absolutely just a stunningly gorgeous car. The guy's asking 65 grand for it. If it was a real GT, it would have been 165 probably, but everything's done right. The guy drives it. He's had it for like 10 years since he built it. So the paint's all 10 years old with some scuffs and a little bit, you know, a little bit of dings and stuff here and there, but just a true driving car. Um, Everybody's like, oh, I couldn't drive a $65,000 car. And I'm like, you buy a Tesla for 80. What the hell? You buy a Raptor for 80. <coughs> Actually, trucks are 100 grand now. You know, for a new truck, they ain't worth shit in five years. Where the Mustang, take care of it, never goes down in value again. So, but she didn't want to spend that much on a car. I did find an old 60s Mustang convertible. It was like 36, I think, 36. That was pretty clean. Needed, probably need a new carpet, a couple of little things here and there. But overall, in general, it was pretty clean. It was pretty nice. So, but yeah, that's kind of the whole thing there. So, Gave up on that, walked around, like I said, I went, basically walked around every chunk of the place twice, you know, checked it all out and stuff, hit all the little swap meet areas, and didn't find nothing I couldn't live without. Found a couple other wheel dealers that had wheels and stuff there, but nothing in stock the size I wanted. Um, one of them was close. They had the six lug, but they only had the eight and a half inch, not the nine and a half inch. And I'm gonna spend the money on a new one, so we'll go with nine and a half inch. So, talked to a couple like car lift guys that have their companies there. The one guy was a real asshole. I was like, nope, never buy them from you. I don't care how cheap you are. Talk to a carport guy that does garages and stuff. They seem to be semi-local here. They got their own crew. They don't hire out rhino crews like Carolina Carports does. So hopefully I can get a garage built before too long. But got done there, headed back home, wrapped up with it. Um, got back, played with the dog for a little while. Got that little bit of fun there. And then headed back outside. Got my run in, got back, grabbed herself some pork chops for dinner. I stopped by the way back actually, and actually bought my mom a TV for her birthday as well. So I was able to give her a little birthday present of a little small TV, uh, nothing fancy, nothing big, just a simple little, you know, the 32 inch, but it was a um, smart TV, so it has roof and all stuff built into it. So after dinner, headed back out, um, went ahead and had myself a nice little cigar and wrapped it up for the day just hang out with the dog so it's all good but anyway it's all i got for right now we'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching